Mercury is a chemical element with the symbol Hg and atomic number 80. It is also known as quicksilver and was formerly named hydrargyrum from the Greek words hydro, water, and argyros, silver. A heavy, silvery D-block element, mercury is the only metallic element that is known to be liquid at standard temperature and pressure. The mercury compound known as cinnabar was recorded as a component of the red pigments in Paleolithic cave paintings of 30,000 years ago in Spain and France. Mercury was found in Egyptian tombs that date from 1500 BC. In China and Tibet, mercury use was thought to prolong life, heal fractures, and maintain generally good health, although it is now known that exposure to mercury vapor leads to serious adverse health effects. Aristotle recounts that Daedalus made a wooden statue of Venus move by pouring quicksilver in its interior. In Greek mythology Daedalus gave the appearance of voice in his statues using quicksilver. The ancient Greeks used cinnabar, mercury sulfide, in ointments. The ancient Egyptians and the Romans used it in cosmetics. Alchemists thought of mercury as the first matter from which all metals were formed. They believed that different metals could be produced by varying the quality and quantity of sulfur contained within the mercury. Mercury is used primarily for the manufacture of industrial chemicals or for electrical and electronic applications. It is used in some liquid and glass thermometers, especially those used to measure high temperatures. A still increasing amount is used as gaseous mercury in fluorescent lamps, while most of the other applications are slowly being phased out due to health and safety regulations. In some applications, mercury is replaced with less toxic but considerably more expensive Galenstan alloy. Mercury is an ingredient in dental amalgams. Today, the use of mercury in medicine has greatly declined in all respects, especially in developed countries. Thermometers and sphygmomanometers containing mercury were invented in the early 18th and late 19th centuries, respectively. In the early 21st century, their use is declining and has been banned in some countries, states and medical institutions. In 2002, the U.S. Senate passed legislation to phase out the sale of non-prescription mercury thermometers. In 2003, Washington and Maine became the first states to ban mercury blood pressure devices. Mercury compounds are found in some over-the-counter drugs, including topical antiseptics, stimulant laxatives, diaper rash ointment, eye drops, and nasal sprays. The FDA has inadequate data to establish general recognition of the safety and effectiveness of the mercury ingredients in these products. Mercury is still used in some diuretics although substitutes now exist for most therapeutic uses. Gaseous mercury is used in mercury vapor lamps and some neon sign type advertising signs and fluorescent lamps. Mercury is effective as an active ingredient in skin whitening compounds used to depigment skin. The Minamata Convention on Mercury limits the concentration of mercury in such whiteners to one part per million. Mercury and most of its compounds are extremely toxic and must be handled with care. Vacuum cleaners and brooms cause greater dispersal of the mercury and should not be used. Mercury can be absorbed through the skin and mucous membranes and mercury vapors can be inhaled, so containers of mercury are securely sealed to avoid spills and evaporation. Heating of mercury, or of compounds of mercury that may decompose when heated, should be carried out with adequate ventilation in order to minimize exposure to mercury vapor. The most toxic forms of mercury are its organic compounds, such as dimethylmercury and methylmercury. Inorganic mercury, by itself, however, is especially toxic with co-exposures to lead during child development. Exposures to inorganic mercury are linked to the development of type 2 diabetes in the human population. Mercury can cause both chronic and acute poisoning, 